Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we're continuing our look at some Safari Limited figures for the hashtag How I Safari campaign. So Marvin, bring out today's model. Thank you, Marvin. So today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this. It is the adorable 2016 Safari Limited Woolly Mammoth Baby. Now, this is actually the first prehistoric mammal model that I've reviewed on the channel, so I cannot wait to take a closer look at this cute little figure. So without further ado, let's start with the review. Before we start taking a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about the Woolly Mammoth itself. Mammothus primogenius was a prehistoric mammal that lived in Africa, Europe, Asia, and North America. America. It was an herbivore, and its closest relative that is alive today is the Asian elephant. Adult mammoths could be up to 10 feet tall and weigh up to 3 tons, while newborn babies weighed about 200 pounds. In the year 2012, an 11-year-old found a 30,000-year-old woolly mammoth baby frozen, almost perfectly preserved in Russia. This discovery really helped scientists learn more about this amazing prehistoric mammal. Another very interesting fact is that scientists can actually know the age and health of a mammoth by counting the rings in its tusks, similar to counting the rings in a tree to see how old it is. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this baby Ice Age animal. So we're going to start up at the head here, and let me just say that the detail in this tiny model is absolutely fantastic. It looks really lifelike. Almost like I'm holding a real baby woolly mammoth here. You can see the eye painted in a tan color there with some nice detailing around it. I really love all the fur detail on this model. It looks really realistic. You can see the ear detail on the side here. Woolly mammoths are known to have small floppy ears. Moving down the trunk, I really like how the fur transitions down the trunk there. It looks really nice. On the end of the trunk, you can see the two nostrils carved out. It looks really good. The interior of the mouth has been sculpted, but it is hard to see in there because it is so small. I do like this big tuft of hair on top of the head that looks really nice. Moving down the neck and into the body, you can see how its shaggy coat gets even more dense in the sculpt here. That looks really good. Moving down the front leg, you can see how the woolly fur transitions into the skinned area here for the foot. You can see its five toes there painted in a silvery gray color. That looks really nice. And one thing I want to say is I really love the positioning of the feet in this model too because it looks like it's on the move and its head sculpt really complements that nicely as well because it looks like it's calling out to its mother that's ahead of it. So moving down the body, you can see in between the legs here how the shaggy woolly coat just hangs down in between the legs. That looks really nice. Moving down the back leg, this one is stretched backwards so you can see the fur hanging down there. Back foot has four toes in the silvery gray color. Looks really nice. Moving to the back with the tail, you can see the little tail there swinging behind it. That's really nice. I like the detail on the tail. Moving down the other back leg, this one is pushing forward so you can see the woolly coat hanging behind it sort of. That looks really nice. You can see the back foot has the four silvery gray digits there. Moving up the body, you can see more of the thick woolly coat. Looks really good. Going down the other front leg here, I really like the pose of this one because it's in mid-stride, so the foot isn't completely on the ground. You can see the five toes in the silvery gray color on that foot as well. And moving back up the neck, we meet up with the other side of the head sculpt that we took a look at earlier. Looks really good from this side as well. So in terms of scientific accuracy with this model, there really is nothing wrong with it. You've done a fantastic job at recreating the Baby Woolly Mammoth Safari Limited. It looks fantastic. Really good job. It looks very realistic and I love its striding position and its trunk stretched outward as it's calling to its mother. That looks really good. We have fantastic job on this one, Safari Limited. So you're probably wondering just how big this figure is, so Marvin, bring out the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. All right, so we have our trusty flexi ruler here, so we're gonna give this little mammoth a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the trunk all the way to the back of the tail, we're looking at three and a half inches. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the head, we are looking at almost two inches. For comparison, I'd like to bring in another North American creature. It's the Acrocanthosaurus. If you want to see the review of this Super Predator, link is down below. I think these two models look great together for display. The poses complement each other nicely. It almost looks like the mammoth is being threatened by the Acrocanthosaurus there. But naturally, this giant theropod lived in the Mesozoic period, and this little woolly mammoth lived in the Cenozoic period during the Ice Age. Next up for comparison, here's the woolly 
Mammoth Baby next to the 2015 Safari Limited Nezudo Ceratops. I absolutely love this model. Link to the review is down below if you want to see that. I think these two creatures look great for display next to each other, but naturally we have a Mesozoic creature and a Cenozoic creature, so it's unlikely that they would have met up, but that doesn't mean you can't have them next to each other for display. And finally for comparison, here is the Baby Woolly Mammoth next to the 2016 Safari Limited Plesiosuchus. We just reviewed this one to start off the hashtag how I safari campaign so if you want to see that review link is down below I think these two look great together on display they are both from their 2016 line so I definitely think they're both worth picking up and putting on your shelf together well there we go guys that was today's look at the adorable safari limited 2016 woolly mammoth baby I think this is a fantastic piece to add to your collection if you want to pick yours up go to www.safarilimited.com also take a look at their other fantastic products that they have available and if you want to know more about the hashtag how I safari campaign go to their facebook page and other social media to learn more anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed if you have leave a like down below and subscribe for more leave a comment on your opinion on this model and yeah guys i'll see you next time bye bye